What is up, good people? It's your boy, the SMT. Got some more testing for you guys, some new sites, some newly upgraded sites. Uh, we've got neighborhoods across the street. We've got shopping. We've got apartments. There's bars behind me. They just lifted curfew here in the CLE, and we've got all the networks to test. Uh, so we've got a first net iPhone 12 Pro. <laughs> then we got the... Uh, New Verizon Unlimited plan 2017 on the Moto Edge Plus. And then we have the Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus. And that one's got the T-Mobile Magenta. And then we have the uh, AT&T Business Elite on the iPhone 12. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to run some speed tests. We're going to do some fast.coms. We're going to do the whole shebang for you guys. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and start the testing. And I'm going to run them all at the same time. All right, so come on. Run, run, run. And this one's... Let's go. All right. And we're going. All right. Yeah, we're cooking. All the carriers are in their bags. We're cooking big time. Remember, that's the uh, first nut on the right. That's Verizon there in the middle. And on the left at the bottom is T-Mobile, Magenta. And top left, that one is the AT&T Business Elite. All right, so let's take a gander at what we got going on here. All right, so from FirstNet, we got 35 millisecond ping, three millisecond jitter, 145 megabits per second down, and about 13 on the up. That's a really good test. It's very good, lots of capacity. Couldn't ask for more than that, really good. And here we have the, whoa, the Verizon. All right, so whenever I see speed tests like this from Verizon, one of two things, right? It's either millimeter wave or it's CBRS. They really, or LAA possibly, which not as common. But anyways, uh, what we could do is we can confirm once we do this. Uh, we got 35 millisecond ping. We have three millisecond jitter, 433 megabits per second down and 10 megabits on the up. Let's go ahead and go to Signal Check Pro, and let's see what we're working with, and we can confirm what we're connecting to. So it's a, I don't know, it looks like a five carrier aggregation scenario. Uh, band 48 confirmed, so that's CBRS. And it's probably 60 megahertz of band 48, and then I'm gonna, gonna possibly assume a band 66 and a band two maybe, but band two is definitely on there. All right, so 1900 megahertz, PCS, looks like five megahertz of it. So pretty fast, good stuff. Here's T-Mobile. All right, so we got 34 millisecond ping, six millisecond jitter, 223 down, 75 up. That's a really good speed test. Uh, maybe we can connect to see what we got going on here. Uh, looks like 10 megahertz of band two, N71, 15 megahertz. And then I th usually there's an additional carrier. Maybe it's like another, maybe it's a band 66 or something. Anyways, um, I don't know what's going on. There's supposed to be N41 around here, but no N41 man sightings. So uh, anyways, and here's the AT&T. All right, so we got 30, 30 millisecond ping, six millisecond jitter, 31 on the down and about two on the up. So the uplink, not great there. The downlink, good enough, I'd say. Pretty good. Uh, but that's what we got for that first test. Uh, we'll go ahead and run another one and see how they score just to kind of get some solid data. I'll go ahead and run it, each of these, and then we're going to do a fast.com. A lot of people always ask me for that, so we'll go ahead and do that. Oh, wow, look at that from Verizon. The CBRS really kicking in. That's really nice. Just to show you what... Um, you know, these wider channels and these, these aggregated channels of band 48 and band 46 and, you know, band 41 from T-Mobile and, and what AT&T can do with band 30 and things like that. So as those upgrades happen, we'll see huge gains. All right, so that's first net on the right. 137 down, 12 on the up. Really nice, very good. And then Verizon, 499, basically 500 megs down. 10 on the up, that's really good. Uh, there is T-Mobile, 236 down, 74 up, that's excellent, very good, impressive. And then there's AT&T Business Elite, 
18 down, five and a half on up. So you're probably wondering, well, at first that's AT&T, why is there such a discrepancy between those those metrics, right? So first net 137 by 12, AT&T Business Daily 18 by four. They're on totally different network cores. Uh, they are not the same network. They may share the same tower sites and they may share some of the same bands, but they are configured different. They're on a different network core and clearly their priority is very different. So you can see where in different congested scenarios, the AT&T's first net really pays off, right, having that priority. Let's go ahead and let's do fast.com for each of these devices. All right, so there's the AT&T first net. Here's the new Verizon Unlimited plan. Here's the Magenta business plan. And then right here, and then here is the AT&T business elite. All right, so we'll go ahead and do that. Yeah, and that's one of the best things about the AT&T network and FirstNet. If they've got the throughput, they're giving it to you for video. Whether it's, you know, for Netflix or Hulu or YouTube, whatever your video streaming platform, HBO Max, whatever, they're giving it to you. So 130 megs towards video. Those are Netflix servers. That's how that's done. Really good stuff there. There's the Verizon plan, almost 10 megabits. So that's really good. Uh, this is going to do anything you need, right? 4K, 8K, it wouldn't even matter. Uh, in my experience, the 10 megs, uh, 1080p is a dream. You'll never get any stutters or hiccups. The Quad HD is probably good too. Uh, I think you'd probably struggle with 4K. It's just not enough. Uh, there's the T-Mobile Magenta business. Um, 480p probably is, is not going to be an issue. The 720p I think would be hit or miss. I don't know, unless the app was really well optimized. It'd be tough to get beyond a 720p. I think 1080p is beyond, you know, possible there. Uh, there's the business elite for AT&T 10 megs, so that's pretty good too. Anyways, that rounds up this round of testing. Uh, I'll go ahead and I'll put it back on the fast doc, or the uh, the Ookla speed test so you guys can kind of see again uh, where they, or how they performed and um, give you a quick little shot of that. Oh, that was right there. All right, so that's AT&T's first net. That's the new Verizon Unlimited plan. That's definitely CBRS band 48. Good stuff. Uh, there is uh, T-Mobile combination of band 71 and some other stuff. That's really good. And then there's the AT&T Business Elite. You guys can get a, a view of that. So that's it for this round of testing. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, testing, you know, capacity of the networks. Uh, we're in Middleburg Heights, Ohio. There's apartments, there's businesses. This is a tough test, and the network's held up really, really good. About 10 o'clock in the evening, and they did a fine job. That just about does it for this edition of the SMT YouTube channel. Thank you so much for taking this opportunity to watch. We appreciate you being here. If you enjoyed the content, make sure to give this video a like and share it to all of your favorite social media platforms. Also, consider becoming a subscriber if you'd like more from the SMT and activate that bell notification icon so you never miss an upload, and you'll be the first to know when something does hit the YouTubes. Also, we've got items in the description box. We've got a Discord server. The at Tech Twitter handle is there. And there's ways to donate and support SMT creation. Uh, that pretty much does it for today. Thank you so much for being here again. Hope you have a great day, and we'll hopefully see you soon on the next video. Peace.